so it's fine now yeah the idea is visible yes so let me uh, show you one data frame will not be created okay it's created like this deepak one question um like how you said import numpy as np can i give as np any any variable or it should be np yeah it should be any variable it can be any variable okay yeah So this is the data set I have created. Now what I do, I will um, create a data frame using the data set. So see, I am having cars that is BMW, Volvo, and Hyundai, and passengers two. So the first will be mapped to the first element of the cars. So BMW will have two passengers, Volvo will have seven passengers, and Hyundai will have five passengers. Clear? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. Okay. Now let me print this data frame. So see what I told told you. Data frame is a 2D matrix. with titles titles means this column is having a title cars this column has a title passengers okay see these are the serial numbers okay and what i said that the first index of this will map to the first index of this okay so bmw has been mapped with 2 volvo has been mapped with 7 hyundai has been mapped with 5 so this is a data frame we call clear is it clear okay. so bmw is data frame or uh... no no this this whole is a data frame okay bmw are elements only the same name correct they are elements correct okay correct okay, okay. So, and how to create a data frame python has a function uh, okay that function is a data frame function we can call it a constructor also okay function that is used to create a data frame now what i want to show you okay so what does it means like what i fetched i fetched this record this record so i fetched the record which was at index 2 okay what i fetched i fetched a record which are, which was at index 2 so hyundai was on index 2 okay mm -hmm. so what i got this is the column name cars what was the column name i am getting hyundai hyundai what the passenger name i am getting Five. five total number of passengers. I am getting five. So this name two means I have fetched the second index, which is of type object. Object. Got it? Yeah. So this is known as series. So if we call, if we ask about data frames, so data frames is a two by two matrix, not two by two matrix. It is a matrix of uh, like mm -hmm. rows and columns. Okay. And if we ask about what do you mean by series then series is a 1d array so data frames are 2d arrays and series is are 1d arrays 
ओके सो सी दिस इज व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग इनटू सीरीज सो इट विल बी अ वन डी एरे एंड वी हैव व्हेन वी स्टडीड नंपाई देन वी स्टडीड दैट एवरी टू डी एरे इज क्रिएटेड ऑफ वन डी एरेस वन डी एरेस ओके सो दिस इज अ टू डी एरे व्हिच इज क्रिएटेड ऑफ थ्री वन डी एरेस व्हाट आर द थ्री वन डी एरेस जीरो बीएमडब्ल्यू टू वन वॉल्वो सेवन टू यूनिटाइ फाइव Okay. Is it clear? Got it. Any doubts? No. Okay. So we will start with series. Okay. Now I told you that series is a one D array. Okay. So can I do it like this? Mm. If I am having a one. Comma two, comma three. This is the list. Okay. When you check type of A, it will be a list. Now I want to create a series. Okay. So the method is to create a series is ED dot series and then A. So in like in NumPy there are many methods. Okay. There are many methods, but in pandas you need to remember one or two methods only, like pd dot data frames, pd dot series, and again uh, afterwards we will study pd dot read csv or read json or read html. So there are only okay. five to seven methods that you need to learn. Mm -hmm. So you, we we uh, here we see how to create a data frame that is pd dot data frame, mm -hmm. and how to create a series pd dot series. Okay. Since data frame okay. is a two by two matrix, so we have passed a two by two. Uh, sorry, uh, data frame is a two D array, so we have passed the parameters in the form of two D arrays. Two D okay. arrays. One array is of car car names and one array of passenger count. But series is a one D array, so we are passing one simple list only. One dimension. Okay. Yeah. If you print this, it will be like this. So this is the series, and these this is the serial number. Please ignore it uh, because you can identify the indexes from here only. Else, uh, didn't have okay. any problem. Okay. And the type of the elements in the series is this integer. Okay. Okay. Now, if I want to fetch the first index element, that what I will do is is one. Of one, so similar to mm -hmm. array, we are accessing it. Okay. Correct. So yes. See, if you are if you are creating a table, then it doesn't have uh, like is it, it is not always surety that the indexes will be of zero, one, two, or three only. So you can have like either in Roman numbers, either A, B, C, whatever you want, you can have. So to how to create a series mm -hmm. like that? Okay. So let us modify. Let us create a new series. So it will be easy to understand. How to create a series? Pd dot series. Okay. Series. Of which array you want to create a series? Of this array. Okay. And so you series to... S should be capital. Yeah. D. Uh, okay. D. Data frames D and F should be capital. In series S should be capital. S should be capital. Okay. Now I want to change the indexes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now see. If you print oh, this. Oh, instead of zero, one, two, you will get x, y, z. So okay. it's not because I, it looks good, but the thing is, if you do like this, you will this, not have uh, confusions. See, one only. Now. You can access it. Sorry, like this also. Mm -hmm. mm, give me a minute. A P is should be in string. Yeah. Here it doesn't work because it. Concludes x as a variable, variable, not as index. Okay, here it works because 
x is an index here. Clear? Okay. Clear? Mm -hmm. Clary, you there? Yes, I'm here. So it's clear to you? Yes. Okay. Now what we will do is we will create a series. So here we have created a series from arrays or list. Okay. Let us try to create a series with dictionaries. Okay. So we will create a calories. Okay. On day one, what we conclude? It's like 350 calories. And day two, we can conclude uh, 420 calories. And day three, we can conclude with 400 calories. So this will be our, what we call it? Dictionary. Is, oh, nice. So this is a dictionary. Okay, calories with key value pairs. So key can be the days and value will be the numbers count of calories. Okay, count of calories that we are having. So we will create a series with it. Okay, uh, how to create a series? PT dot series Please. of which calories. calories. Okay, now what will be the indexes in this case? Sorry. What will be the indexes in this case? Uh, your voice is breaking. Now it's it's audible. Yeah. So here, like we haven't specified anything. So the indexes was 0, 1, 2. OK, mm. here we have specified X, Y, Z. So the indexes was X, Y, Z. OK, mm. now what will be the indexes here? Day one, day two, day three. Got it? Yeah. So if you are using dictionaries, then the keys will be your indexes now. Now, if you want to access, OK? Yeah. Suppose uh, a requirement ar arose, like you are having mm, seven days, OK? And and related to seven days, you are having passenger counts or you are creating, you are analyzing data of an um, theater movie hall. In that uh, movie hall, you need to, you have given this like visitor array. Okay. Visitors. Like day one, you have got 300. Day two, you have got 400 or 450. Or day three, you are getting uh, 200. Or instead of that, let it be more. On Monday, it should not be like that. It should be all small. Monday. You are getting 300 on Tuesday. You are getting 400, 450. You are getting 200. You are getting 500. Me on Saturday you are having and on Sunday you are having 900. Okay. So we I have given you this. Okay. <laughs> now what I want like I am a hotel manager. I have given you the data. This is the passengers we are having. Now you need to analyze the passengers. Uh, uh, like capacity on weekends so that you can make several different arrangements for weekends. Okay, so what you will do in this case? 
you need to create a series okay, to analyze the data now because dictionary will not be used in that case you need to plot it okay so series is will be used will be used okay but the problem is you are getting all the weeks visitors okay so if you create a series with it so what you will have you will have records of monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday okay all five days but you want the record of saturday and sunday so what you will do the statement is clear yeah the scenario is clear you will separate as weekdays and weekends uh, yeah. well, that is what they are asking for i am only i only want weekends So um, we use like the from the. Can you words. please repeat again? So I was gonna say, can you index it from um mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, from five, B and put the column C so you can take from Friday to Sunday. Okay, so visitors come. Do like this? No. And then from one, two, three, four, five, from five to, and then column. If you just put the this column, one? it takes, okay. Oh, yeah, oh no, okay. from four, sorry, from index four. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. No, it's correct. Saturday, Sunday, these oh, two correct. days. Oh, okay, no Friday, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what you want, you are saying? Yeah. That was the you asked how we can get just weekends, right? But the thing is, you are still getting the four, uh, all five days oh, in your okay. series. So what we can do is we can do it like this: pd dot series with your visitors with indexes as. See, now the series only have two. So this is a small data, okay? So we we have done like this, okay? But suppose you are having millions of data. So it will be difficult for you to, to identify these things. Okay, suppose it's an uh, like data of one week only. You have uh, given a data of uh, almost thousand and two thousand and million weeks. Now you need to find on uh, from that data. So it not be feasible if we do like this, okay? because we can't. We will not be able to count like this. So we need this type of mechanism. If you are using this, the series is not heavy now. The series is light. Clear? Clear? Yeah. Yes. Indeed. Any doubts? So, um, so when you say index Saturday and Sunday, okay, it means you just want to print out Saturday and Sunday. So if you want it yeah. like from Friday, then you would add Friday to that index. Correct. So if you want from Friday, you can add Friday. So what will do we will have now in this dictionary from this dictionary, we will have records of Friday, Saturday and Sunday only. So index in with pandas is different from like regular Python indexing. Like when you when you it, you get the the number position, the position of the variable. Mm -hmm. So here with pandas is different like uh, index is same in python for everything the only difference is like if you are using index in in terms of list or arrays then it is sure that they will start from zero okay uh, if you are taking indexes in dictionaries then it is sure that they will be the keys okay so here indexes are the keys only so this is a dictionary a normal dictionary so suppose if you are having this visitors array 
Okay, and what you want? Sorry, this is a dictionary. What you want? Friday's data from it. Okay, it will be like this. If I say you, I want data from Saturday. What I will have now? Saturday's data. And if I want data for of Sunday, let us try this way. And it will not accept. OK, because I want data of two days. OK, so the one option, the only option I am having is fetching the data of one day, then fetching the data of another day. OK, but I want data of these two days, two days. So I have mentioned these, these two. We have I have mentioned these two together here. So it oh, is working the same index way. Only. So the different. Okay. Okay. Yes. So using the index, you can be able to pull out two keys from the dictionary. Correct. So this is what I'm I'm getting using this index. Like I want to fetch values of two indexes. Okay. If I'm if I'm going through this method, then I can fetch one value at a time. But I want multiple values. So what I will do is, I will I will write all the indexes in this, the list that uh, that will pass into index, and get all the values. And this PD series will create uh, on this day in this type. Okay. So it it is same. Like if you go, if you read this, give me a minute. Why it is not dragging? Yeah. If you read this, what it says that the key is Saturday. And the value is 700. The key is Sunday and the value is 900. And it also says the same thing. The key is Saturday and the value is 700. The key is Sunday and the value is 900. Correct? Correct. <clears throat> Understood? Understood. Mm, okay. So, any doubts in series? Um, Deepa, um, first you my... remove the M as capital and then you put it as small. Why? So the thing is, uh, like it should be same. Okay. So if I put M as capital, then I need to put T T as capital, W as capital, T as capital. It doesn't have any problem because this is a small program and we are writing it. Suppose the thing is, someone else has written this program and I need to use it. So the problem I was having is what is the type of the dictionary, uh, the index or the key? Either it is in all capitals, it should start from uh, like an initial capital and then small. It is, should be in small case, so I'm not sure about it. OK, so the mm -hmm. rule says it should be in like either all caps or all small. So if someone uh, someone has provided me a value in small letters, then I can convert into a capital letters using similar simple Python functions. So it will be easier for accessing the data. It should be a standardized approach. If it's a number, then it doesn't have any problem because small zero or capital zero are same. But in string, it is case sensitive. So I need to uh, have the similarity. Okay. Clear, you want? You are saying so, something? Yeah. So I want to like apply this to a uh, real world scenario if you're trying to like write a function can we say series can help us maybe convert some data or a dictionary to a table uh we can say it but uh, the thing is in real world we didn't have series like this it will be if you are plotting a histogram uh, so are you aware about histograms yes so histogram is having x axis and y axis. OK, and x axis will have uh, a club of values and y axis will also have a club of values. OK, so there are two things. If you pass <coughs> data frames directly, so data frames is already having the columns uh, like two columns here. OK, so one column can act as x axis and one column act as y axis. OK, don't go with this 0, 1, 2. Just uh, follow these two. OK, so X axis can be cars and Y axis can be passengers. Clear till here. 
Yes, so the data frames yeah. can basically convert data to a table. Correct. Excellent. So see, data frames also have a series inside it. So this is one series. Okay, this is another series. And this is another series. Correct. Similarly, right. series can be used as in one axis. Series can be used as one axis. Like it can be x axis or y axis. So you can club two series to form a histogram. You can have two different series for different different axes. So series are used for that only for plotting purposes. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Wait, sorry, that's so, uh, only used for what? Pardon? Can you please repeat, Clary? What? Oh, I was I was jotting it down. You said series are only used for what purpose? Series are used for plotting purposes. Plotting on graphs. Plotting purposes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So there are there are more other uh, like use use cases of it, like data cleaning. Also, we will study like if you have uh, what we call not good data the data is not correct some null values the format is not correct duplicate data so we can use series there also to clear okay. uh, clean those data clear till here yes yeah okay so you are aware about like data frames only okay the data frame is we are having is my data frame Not able to write anything. The data frame uh, we are having is this. Okay. Now what I want, I want to change the indexes that I can do because in series is what we have done. Series we have passed the array. Okay. So in series we have passed the array, and again with the array I have row. I have written the indexes like this. Day one, day two. OK, like this. It has written mean uh, like whatever we want. OK, it is not correct because it should be three values. I have just, yeah, so it okay. will be like just an example I have given to you. Okay? OK, so in data frames, we will also have like this. Data frame. We are having data set like my data set, I guess its name. And we are having indexes. Which type? It can be day one. It can or we more specifically it can be car one. Car two. And car three. See, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2 has been replaced with carbon cartoon. So we will not focus on this because these are the serial numbers. You can write any type of serial numbers. It doesn't have any problem. But just it, it's an explanation. So explanation is like we can access. We can have it like this. My data frame 2. And if you want to. So we have we know that we can access it. Like this lock and if you access to. Um, car two. OK, so in series we can access using indexes, but in data frames we can cannot do like that. So if you have indexes in the form of string, then you need to access in the form of strings. Clear? Yeah. Clear till here? Yes. So you can do, can we do it like this? Car. So. Car Z one two 
so suppose uh, this is a small data okay now the thing is uh, if you access millions of uh, records in a data frame then those records will not be visible on your screen okay because your screen is having some limited scope you don't have that okay so what you will do in that case you can check that how many records we can have on our screen so that is let me type that command okay so if my data phrase is having more than 60 rows then how i will display like data frame heading column setting first five rows from the beginning and last five from that so i will not be able to see whole uh, records in the data frame. so to change it what we can do we can assign it to any value okay now if i print it like this it will be manually so i can display all the rows in my objects. Clear. Uh, give me a minute. Let me download a file for you, like a CSV file. I will share you. So the next operation we will do using that CSV file. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Yeah, can some uh, like Clary, are you on your laptop? Yes, I'm with my laptop. I can see. Okay, her. can you please can you please uh, download this data.csv file? And okay. Jaya, can you please copy this JSON? Okay, I downloaded the file. Yeah. Can you please share your screen now? Uh, um, where's the share button? OK, I have a really large screen, so it might look weird, but let me know. Yeah, sure, please. Can yeah, you see? it's visible. Yeah. OK. Can you please show where you have downloaded that file? Oh, it just saved my downloads. OK, can you please copy it to the folder where you have written your Python programs? 
Okay. Right there. Yeah, please, please write. And uh, I'm sh uh, writing you some lines yeah, of just... code. You want me to use uh, I do or... no on Notepad it will be fine. Oh, okay. Can you please copy paste the these three lines into your notepad? Mm, save it the same location where you have saved the data uh, data.csv file. Sorry, pandas. Yeah, save it. Okay, by which name? Uh, pandas py right here. Mm, okay, can you please open it again? Pandas py. Oh, it's a text document. You need to save it dot py extension. Oh, right. Save it again. File save as. So I don't have dot oh, let me just do dot py. You can open it. Yeah, pandas dot py correct. It's it's fine now. I thought I should above one. above one. Oh right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can you please uh, open CMD here and run this file now? <clears throat> Please uh, open it into full screen, a CMD. Oh, I need to Im import pandas. No, no, you need to run it by Just... Python. Oh, OK. Pandas py.py. No more to uh, name pandas. Pip install, pip install pandas. Press enter. Is that press enter? Yeah. Is it downloading everything? Yeah. So Jaya, have you have you copy pasted this uh, JSON file? Whatever the message I have sent you somewhere. Jaya, you there? You are speaking on mute. I'm speaking on mute. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm here. I'm. So have I'm, you copied? Yeah, I'm copying it. I'm just doing it. Yeah. Please copy it. It will take some time. Okay, it's downloaded now. You can run it again. This is your data frame. Can you please scroll? Okay. Okay. So, can you please see line number? No, no. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. So, Jaya, have you seen it? How to read a CSV file? Yeah. No. Uh, I'm. I'm just doing it. I don't so know. CSV file is an Excel file only. Yeah, it's got. I got the Excel file. I have saved it, but I don't know where I have saved it. Okay, and it got saved. Yes, uh, that uh, CSV file should be in the code folder itself. Yeah, because like we we need not to specify the whole path. Else we need to specify the path. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You can see no problem. Take your time. Can you please scroll a little bit down? And uh, I should run the code in the CMD file itself. Yeah, in CMD only because it will be like easier to see. See line number 141, index number 141, you can check. So the last value is NAN. Right. So it's not correct. OK. Uh, so I there can be you, like. Why are we using this to string when we print in the data frame? Okay. <clears throat> so the thing is to string is used to create your object into string format. If you print data frame, then it's also fine. but to look good and uh, like readable format, we have used to string. You can okay. use direct DF on top. OK. OK. Jaya, have you done with JSON file? Deepak, I I stuck. I don't know. I'm getting a, a okay. the file name is not recognized. Is it because I have Can not gone into the folder? Yeah. Okay. Clary, uh, until do one thing. Uh, copy the whole JSON that I shared and store in uh, store it somewhere. Okay. Same location Create, or somewhere else. Yeah, same location with extension as dot JSON. In in CSV we are having dot CSV, but in JSON it should be dot JSON. Okay. So the file name should be data dot JSON. JSON. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you please share? Jay? Can you please? Yeah. Uh, can you see the screen? Yeah, it's visible. Yeah, I have. Um, I have uh, saved it in desktop Python, that same folder. I have the data dot CSV file mm -hmm. and the file, the code, what you have typed as pandas one. OK. And uh, when I. Can you show me the pandas one code? OK, one second. Oh, it's here. OK, got it. Can you please write Python space? <clears throat> pandas pandas one dot P. OK. OK, can you please go on your folder? Yeah, just click on the title bar and write CMD here because you have you are not here. Enter. Yeah. Right oh. here, Python. OK, got it. Yeah. now here I can write pa pandas one. Correct. Pandas one dot py. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. OK. So any of you have done with this JSON file? Yeah, uh, again, same thing we have to do. Yeah, so instead of read CSV, we need to read JSON now. And is it going to be the F print to string as well for the print? Yeah, you can use to string. OK. It should be read underscore JSON. Okay. Read underscore JSON instead of CSV. 
and uh, data dot json only right or uh, that also yeah. should be you need to save the json as data dot json file first that okay. i've shared in the chat then yeah. it will work the uh, excel file the excel file will be like this only it will not be changed now okay but uh, is the code correct now what i've written yeah the code is correct okay now we save this as uh, whatever you want pandas to or read json whatever you want okay okay and do the same thing in cmd yeah oh i didn't uh, save the yeah i should file save the excel. you need to save correct the excel file has to be saved as no no not the excel file then, whatever i've shared you the json i've shared you in the chat see open no, the chat okay yeah can you please scroll up the whole json which i've shared you before data.csv this one this one yeah the duration the correct clary have you done it yes can you please share sure oh right here Give me a minute. It's not visible. Yeah. Okay. So you have read all the data, correct? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Is it I have visible? a question. Yeah. Yeah. Please query. So please when go. do we import JSON? Because I noticed we did not use the function import JSON, and I uh, oh. I noticed they do that so, sometimes. So if you are uh, JSON, if you are using JSON library. That JSON library is used to convert something to JSON and JSON to something. Okay. okay. But here we are not doing this. What we are doing, we are having a file, and we want to read those file. And if we want to read that file, that that file will be read into data frame format. So we didn't have anything related to that JSON. That's why we haven't imported JSON library. Okay. Thank you. Jaya, have you done it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So what we have done it today? Two, we have done data frames and some operations on data frames series. We have done, and we have uh, learned how to import CSV file and JSON file. One more thing you can do: uh, create a file. Uh, clearly, create one file. <coughs> uh, notepad. Yeah, or notepad. Same file you can do. But instead of read underscore JSON, you need to write now read underscore HTML. Okay, I just copy it to not to save time. Yeah, please, you can do. Deepak, what yeah, is yeah, yeah. this CSV JSON? files what are so these is, like if i provide you something like if i have to pro provide you data that data can be either into an excel or in json file if i am like programming known person if i know technical things then i will provide you data in the form of json if i don't know anything if i am from operation side then what i will do is i will create the data in the in excel every data in excel now i will provide you the data in excel so it's on you now that uh, what you can do is you can read those uh, like manually do the work or you can read the whole excel file into your uh, program 
So here what we have done, we have instead of doing manual things, we have read the whole Excel file. So this is the CSV file. So uh, clearly do one thing, open your favorite HTML page. OK, and save it. Use control yeah, S. <laughs> so it will be very useful if you. Uh, yeah. Do one thing, open this. Open I just this. do you want me just to save this? I just did. yeah, save it on the same location that we have saved the data dot CSV with some different name dot HTML. Okay. Data dot HTML will work also. Oh, wrong location. Um, I'm not sure why that is happening. Yet. Pardon? So this is how it, this is correct. Yeah, data dot HTML. Okay. HTML yeah, it's correct. Okay. Now save those file and read the data now. So this is the code right here. So I'll save this. Yeah. Please install it. At XML. Yeah. What is my so Let me check these it. these are the external library that you will use while reading XMLs. So you need to install the libraries the error you are got, getting. OK, now do pip install LXML. Yeah, press enter. Yeah, clear it all and run the program and run the program again. It's, oh, I need to install HTML fight leap. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now run it again. CLS will work here. So how do you clear it? CLS? CL, yeah, CLS. Beautiful yeah. soup for not far. Wow. So are you aware what uh, for what this library is used? Uh, the beautiful soup. Correct. Um, I studied this in school, but I know it has to do with like web pages. Yeah. So, Jaya, are you aware about how what beautiful soap for is used? No. Okay. Have you heard about web scrapping? No. So, web scrapping oh, yeah, web is scrapping. what it will do is it will fetch all the contents of your application, uh, of your web page. Okay. So mm. that for that like beautiful soap for is used. Okay. It basic it used for web scrapping. So web scrapping is uh, web scrapping is like reading data from HTML pages, you can say. <clears throat> so so okay. there is no table we are having. OK, and if you are having a table, then the data will be read here. 
Okay. Like for example, that quick buzz I have I have shown you. Can you please open that quick buzz? Yeah. Can you please uh, open it into full screen? Yes. Crawl. Crawl up. Yeah. Crawl up. Can you please crawl up to the top? I'm at the top. Yeah. And can you please open? Let me share you the link. It will be more funnier and easier. India versus Australia. Test match. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Can you please open this link? I'll share the link. Okay. Yeah. Now copy the save this as data dot HTML. The same place and replace the previous file. Run the Python code again. Yeah. Clear the screen using CLS. Yeah, please do the same thing. Um, I'm pretty bad at this. How do you save? How are you saving the uh, file? Control S Control you can S. do. No, uh, I mean the web page. Yeah, um, yes, web page, go on web page and do Control S. OK. Wait a minute, no table. Keep saying no tables. Um, Give me a minute. So, uh, does it mean data frames? Uh, yeah. So like pandas what we will do, only works. Yeah. So, what we will do in this case? Can you please open that uh, web page again? So, we will fetch all the things here. Like whatever the whatever the scorecard we are having, how many runs a batsman scores, how many wickets a bowler got. So we will read each and everything here. That's why and the, see this is in the form of table, so it can be a data frame. So you can have all the things here. It's saying that um, no tables found. So yeah. So I that's mean, why I'm checking. So. Like the thing is earlier Craig Buzz uses table inside it. So if they have changed their code, then it will not work. Okay. Yeah, so I'm checking their code only. They have put it devs. Yeah, they have changed their code. Okay, no problem. They have changed their code. That's why we will not be able to see it. But what I will do is I will. Okay, you can do one thing. I will I will take something. I will write the whole thing. Then I will show you. Okay. I will show you about this read HTML data. So what we will do if we will get time, we will plot the graphs with these this only. So until it's before, CSV and JSON no, reading file was successful, correct? Yes, yeah, it was successful. working for both of you. Yes, OK, so uh, we will end our class here only. So tomorrow what we will do is the data we have read using CSV and JSON file. 
is not correct data because we are getting some null values and duplicate values in that. So what we will do is we will identify the duplicate values. We will clear them. We will clear the null values. We will correct the outliers and then we will plot it. OK. OK. <coughs> Sorry. So tomorrow's task is to work on the data to clean the data. OK, any doubt still here? Not for me. Any I doubt? haven't yeah. understood uh, JSON and uh, CSV, but I will just go through it once more and I'll see what is that. OK, so just if you have run the same run the code, so you are getting mm -hmm. almost the same output, but because you the mm -hmm. data I have provided you in C, open that CSV file into Excel. Yeah, so you will able to see all the data there. And the same mm -hmm. data has been used in JSON file on also. So okay. it's just a format that a user will provide a data to you and you need to work on that data. OK, so we we can't say someone that OK, provide me data in Excel format only. If he wants, he can provide the data into JSON format. So it depends on dependent on the client. Mm -hmm. OK. OK, that's why we uh, I can I can told you that OK, if you have uh, done with CSV, that's fine, but mm, the client is not same. So we have tried using JSON also, so it's just an additional benefit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any doubts? No. No, not for me. OK, thank you so much, guys. We will meet uh, tomorrow again. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 bye.